And so I sent Toko, Toko, and Ayumu with Oz Yuzumi before returning to the deserted living room. It's already well past 9 p.m. I lit a cigarette with a nod. Yukari, I'd love to give you, yo, know, even just a, a little bit of comfort in this moment. But we both know she isn't. We both know. Prayer ain't gonna do shit. We already know. I hated how the only thing I could offer Yukari was that half-assed response. It, it truly is the best you can offer, though. Put on my coat after stubbing out my barely lit cigarette. There wasn't a moment to waste lounging around at home. Suzuriko! Dokuda! I ran through the street shouting her name. As I did, I scanned the parks and rivers, taking care not to let a single clue evade my attention. So I bumped into a bee couple on the way. He didn't have any idea where Tsuzuriko could be. The car's headlights washed over me from behind. Reji, Those we got out of the car. Those we reached across the roof of his car. Those I rode a shotgun in the Datsun. As long as we'll be getting any sleep tonight. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Like, I even called it. I'm like, all this feel good shit, of course, is gonna happen. No, I actually have to see it happen, or at least read about it. Fuck me. God damn it. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. I'm cursed. I'm fucking cursed. Because you want to know, you want to know something, fellas, ladies and gentlemen watching this video? You want to know something? I am recording this video on my birthday, which normally, yo, it's not too bad a thing. Do you want to, the last time I recorded a video on my birthday was last time I did a recording session anyway was two years ago and two years ago I was playing Muvlove Love Alternative now those of you who watched that playthrough the fucking day I record the fucking recording I did on my birthday was the day I fucking read the infamous chomp scene which went on to become the most viewed video on this channel which was some gory fucked up shit that happened to one of my favorite characters now here we are Two years later, I decide, oh, well, I have my birthday off. I do need to record. I'll record on my birthday. What's happening? I get to witness some gory, fucked up shit happen to one of my favorite characters. <laughs> it's a sign, dude. I, You know what? It's a sign. I need to not be recording this shit. I can, I can never, like, record on my birthday and have it be some happy fun times. No, I always gotta have a character I love go through some fucking egregious, brutal bullshit. <laughs> Fuck this shit, man. Fuck this shit. God fucking damn it. It had been ever so simple. All it took was giving her a little whiff of anesthesia and stuffing her in a suitcase. You what? You stuffed her in a suitcase? I know she's not that big, but goddamn, homegirl's that small? Fuck. Bring her to this place, stripping off her clothes and restraining her to the table. Nothing more, nothing less. Her body was slender and symmetrical. Honestly, turning her into a corpse almost felt like a waste. Still, she had to be changed. She had to be transformed to the name of a noble cause. Fingers grasped the handle of the saw. The weight of the tool was now familiar to the hand that wielded it. The blade would remove that which wasn't needed before long. Soon enough, the saw sank its jagged fangs into the base of one of the restrained legs. The girl's eyes jolted right open in response. Good thing I 
gagged her. I wouldn't have to listen to those unsettling screams. Fuck me, dude! Fuck! She glanced at the harbinger of her suffering. Tears welled in her eyes. What kind of look sculpts my face right now? Joy. An emotionless mask, perhaps. The free hand caressed its owner's cheeks to find out, only to grow sticky with blood. It seemed they had not escaped the splatter brought on by the dismemberment. Irked by the sensation, the hand wiped the blood off from the girl's chest. The heart beneath it was pounding like a jackhammer. Before long, the beat died down. Soon, the saw settled atop her left shoulder. The girl fainted and convulsed. And mere moments later, the room reeked of her evacuated bowels. It was only after her right arm was completely severed that the notable difference from her left one was noted. Her right hand was clenched into a fist. What's more, there was a ring around her finger. It doesn't matter. I'll be getting rid of this arm either way. Oh, fuck. Yeah, now they're going to find, yo, a finger in one of the eggs, right? And it's going to have a fucking ring on it. Right? Right? They're going to find the finger with the ring on it, and they're just going to know, yep, we know that ring. God damn it. The cut surfaces were coated in paper mache, sealing up the wounds. It seemed fixing her up would be far simpler than anticipated. The sanguine color soaking into the clay would provide nice accents. However, the short hair was not ideal. A hand tilted her immobile jaw. I just have to use a wig, that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. It would be ever so simple. God fucking damn it. 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 <laughs> Returned home at dawn. Ato de case to you, Kurunoka? Ah, someone smothered. Scotia Sunday got a goy. Son, he did sell the Kurunjanezo. Least of my problems right now was me. Oh, my any cow no koto, you are a taganeo. Even our barbs like the usual bite. Nisa. He caught her hand up to me the moment I stepped into our home. Her eyes were dry and red. Mother. ミスカットはいない。そうですか。ひとやすみしたらまた探しに行くから。お前はきちんと授業に出ろよ。ええ。そうだ、ゆかり。続けるこの写真はもっといないか。I Honestly, I didn't really have time to waste sleeping, but my brain needed some rest to recharge. Ikara handed me a photo. Ah, thank Oh, I'm sure we're gonna find her. It's not gonna be in a state you want us to find her, though. Fuck. And I flopped right onto my hutan as soon as Yukari left. Once I caught some Z's, I'd have to go looking for Tsuzuriko again. Though obviously, linking up with Ozmi at the MPD and gathering information came first. I 
I woke up before noon and set out to the MPD. Ozumi was at the security bureau along with Commissioner Yaganuma. Oh, Kitaka. Nani ka shinten wa atta ka? Mada nani mo decha inai. Mokugi zoukou ga nai ka atatsu ka. Komaru nda yo ne, kimi tachi. Koko wa barabara jiken no sousa honbu da yo. Kankei no nai koto wa mochi komanai de hoshii ne. Yaganuma chose that moment to stick his nose in. Ah, so ka, so ka. So no i nakunat ta gakusei ga barabara ni nareba, kochira no kankatsu ni naru ne. Ozumi struggled to keep the rage out of his voice. Yaginuma left that parting shot. Never my mind, finding Tsuriko came first. お前の家までおよそ30分。ああ。だが、たどり着いていない。そうだな。悪いがレイジ。ああ。もとよりそのつもりだ。But where to first? Man, that really is the question, huh? Well, let's set up the academy. I saw by Oba Girls Academy. There weren't any students out, meaning they were all probably in class. As such, I decided to report to Psyche's and see if he knew anything. I entered the staff room and announced my presence. Tokisaka-sensei,よそみやさんが行方不明になったとか。ええ。今、警察も捜索を進めています。そうですか。早く見つかると良いのですが。授業は通常通りにはい。まだ何も学生には伝えておりません。Good.何か知っていることはありませんかいえ、特には昨日も普通に帰られたようですしそうですかでは、何か分かったら警察か自分に連絡してくださいよろしくお願いしますええ、こちらこそどうかお願いしますよそみやさんを見つけてあげてくださいわ
Hence the doctor's coat. すみませんが、オーバー女学院のよそみやつづりこをご存知ですか。ショルリカリスフォローつづりこ。ああ、ええ、学院の定期検診の際に見た覚えはありますね。ええ、昨晩から行方不明になっているんです。昨夜からですか。まだ見つかっていないのですか。Yep. Sure hasn't. そうなんです。何かご存知ないでしょうかいいえ、私はずっと宿直で病院におりましたから。そうですか。すみません。構いませんよ。よそみやさん、早く見つかるといいですね。ね、oh, sure、そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。Swung by Ueno. Wait, no, not our own. That was Takashiro, not Tokisaka. My bad. There's only one guy here I could turn to. He's taking up work again recently, so hopefully he was at his office. Takashiro, you're here. Shugo is lounging in his chair reading the paper. Tokisaka, what are you doing? I'm looking for people. Yosomi is a teacher, but I showed Shugo her photo. Yeah, I don't know. That's right. 役に立てなくてすまなかったな。いや、いざ。Oh well, time to check elsewhere. Where else? Evening had long since arrived by the time I circled the major districts and returned to the MPD. Several inspectors were hurriedly moving back and forth around the dusk lit CID office like a mess hall kitchen during lunch rush. Yaginomo was on the phone. 緊急配備を指揮、不審者へ職質をかけるように。こちらからは捜査官を向かわせているから協力するように。何かあったら。Wait for Yaginomo to finish his call before asking. おそらくこれまでのとは別件でしょうが、まだバラバラが見つかりました。<笑> for a moment, nearly all the wind was knocked out of me. 手口が違いすぎる。どちらかといえば先月の事件と同じ。単純なバラバラですよ。それでも誰かが殺されていること。Issue here was exactly who had been killed. 僕たちは人肉入り卵事件を追っているんですよ。それ以外のことは関係ありません。現状はどこだ吉祥寺にあるゴミの集積所から発見されたそうですよ。両腕と両足のみで、胴体および頭部は見つかっていません。The head and torso are still missing, but guess what? We're gonna look at one of those arms and find the fucking ring, aren't we? e g i n o m a flip through a small notebook. それと、右手の薬指に指輪がはまっていたそうです。露店で売っているような安物ですから、結婚指輪というわけではなさそうですが。先輩 I couldn't even begin to imagine the look on my face at that moment. Naruhoto. Yaginuma smirked. Genba ni mukatte mo muda desu yo. Itai wa kansatsu imu ni ya okurarete imasu kara ne. He spoke with a veneer of affability. Mo shika shita ra, kochira de matomete sousa suru ka mo shire masen kere. I no longer registered a thing, Yaginuma said. I simply staggered outside in a daze, my brain completely shut off. Eventually, I found myself standing in front of my house with no memory of what path I'd taken back. It was pitch black outside. The sun had long since set. My heart felt like a lump of lead. The cat ran up to me the second I stepped inside. Nisan, Suzuriko. Mada. Wakaranai. That was all I could think to say. Dattara. Naja, so nani tsura so naka o sarate iru no desu ka? Pull the wool over her eyes, huh? 本当にまだわからないんだ。ただ、吉祥寺で手足のみの遺体が出たらしい。<笑>それが、つづり子だとでも言うのですか ?You gotta grip my coat for dear life. わからない。I slowly shook my head. We still weren't sure. But with that ring, I could only think. しっかりしてください。Kelly's voice was choked with tears. そんな。曖昧なことを言ってごまかさないでください。ゆかり。おそらく。つづりこはもう。<笑> you gotta bear to face my chest. I hugged her with all my might. She shook in my arms like a leaf. We stayed like that until Yukari finally calmed down. すみません。兄さん。大丈夫か。ゆかり released me. 今日はもう休みます。ああ、そうした方がいい。おやすみなさい、兄さん。
Monica had retreated to her room had drooped the whole time. Swanai. And it was pointless. I couldn't help but bow in Yukari's direction. Fuck me, dude. Fuck. Fuck. Dawn eventually broke through my sleepless night. I wonder if Yukari fared any better than me. I went out to the living room. However, there was neither hide nor hair of my sister there. Hardly shocking, really. Thus, I decided to leave her a note saying I was taking the day off, taking the day off school before heading out. I rode the train to Takadano Baba. Yaginuma had mentioned that the autopsy was being carried out at the medical examiner's office. As such, I knew there was no point in swinging by, but I dropped in all the same. The Takashiro Clinic had a sign reading "Out on a house call" on it. Huh. Didn't know she made personal visits. Oh well, no need to hang around if she's not here. So just have to ask the MPD instead. Just as I turned around with that thought, I saw a squad car zooming this way from down the road. Wait, is that Uozumi at the wheel? And that's Natsume riding shotgun? Talk about a combo you don't see every day. Uozumi emerged from the car. Nondo Reiji, kotsu ni kitei ta no ka? Ah, mezurashi na. Imo in kara no kaeri dosu. あそこのレンチはチートも使いまへんのやわ。知らないからこっちでしますよって帰ってきたんですわ。Nasme <laughs> stepped out and gestured to the back seats. Tokisaka、rectangular crate on the back of the car. I opened the door and dragged it out. Not to mention damp. I would have dreamed I'd see her again in a form so small. I followed Ozmi into the clinic. I nodded and did as I was asked. Mimoto,分かっているんですか?うん?せやな。手の指紋がはっきり取れたんで、行方不明者から割り出すのは簡単でしたわ。えっと、四十ミヤ、トシコ。よそりよ。続りこ。ああ、そうよむね。よし、取りましたな。夏さん。遺体の右手薬指に。うん。ああ、ありましたな。しっかりはまっとりましたけど、なんとか引っこ抜けます。Let's see if she showed me the ring. Natsume may place the ring in my hand. これは時坂藩が持っていた遅れやす。すみません。解剖結果どないし張ります。ああ。聞かせてください。わかりました。まずは殺害時刻。腐敗の程度から言って一日ちょっと前。いつかの深夜から翌六日の明け方頃と推測
the Tuckshire Clinic and went over to the Open Girls Academy. Even the cherry blossoms looked like they were wilting in grief. Saeki Kyoto. Ah, Tokisaka Sensei. Saeki looked positively haggard. And honestly, it was hard to blame him. Mata, Gakusei ga. Dou natte iru no deshou ne? Ima no yo no naka wa. Itsu no jirai datte. Gisei ni naru no wa. It's like he heaved a great sigh. I'll be able to do it for a long time. So, I'll be able to do it for a long time. That's right. Please find the person who is not going to be able to do it. God, I doubt I'm going to be that lucky. But hey, I'll do my best, bud. Because I mean... The quickest I can reach one of the normal endings is the 13th, so that's still six more days for shit to go south, so, uh... I, I wouldn't get your hopes up too high there, Mr. Psyche. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I took a major detour away from Kichijoji Station to get to Inakishira Park. My heart was rent asunder at the notion of going anywhere near that place at the moment. Though I knew I should have been investigating the crime scene, I figured they'd probably already cleaned it up. Still, I couldn't bring myself to visit the place where Tsuzuriko's body had been dumped. I stopped to take a seat at the bench in the park. The cherry blossoms bloomed as beautifully as always. It felt like it had been an eternity since I'd watched them right here with Tsuzuriko and Yukari. And I spared the ground to look. Several ants were creeping across the dirt. Just then a shadow eclipsed them, drawing my attention to its source, its toko. Toko was standing right there. Yeah. Toko. Jugyo wa dou shita? Zuru yasumi. Warui yasu da na. Zou da ne. Toko just wove sentence after sentence without betraying the slightest emotion. She seemed the same as ever. Kita yo. Yosomiya san no koto. Zanen da ne. Totemo ii hito datta no ni. Turned her back to me. Ne, Sensei. Don't stay here, Toa. Sto Korosnokana. Sto Korosana is no Honga Oi. Demo Jisai, Satsujima Okotel. Toku glanced at me out of the corner of her eye. Tokisaka Sanga. What does she got Korosaleta Kanashi? Bakana Koto Kikuna. I didn't even want to picture that. Zeriko's murder had already turned my world on its head. So I lose Toko on top of everything that had happened. Sono Kanjoga Korosu Doki ni Naru no Kana. Fukushuka. The same reason why Kasaka killed all those people last month. Sasujin wo Kasuri Yunante. I still had no idea what purpose the two stuffed egg killings and Suzuriko's murder served in the killer's mind. The three cases were even connected anyway. Hito wa shindara. Do naru no daro ne? His voice was hardly a whisper. Nothing. It was rare to see Toko so heated. Toko! I jolted to my feet and snagged her arm just as it looked like she was about to dash off. I complied. Toko was crying. The reason she always acted so nonchalant because she stifled her own emotions. Toko smiled weakly. I embraced her, my arms wrapped tight around her frail frame. Toko, Toko shut me up with a kiss. No. Toko slinked away from me. Had she eased my suffering as well? それじゃ、私は帰るよ。送っていこう。うん。それで先生がいいのなら送ってもらおうかな。I want to leave Toko alone out here. I could say something about it. And so I led her back to, Kichi to the Kachiki residence hand in hand. Fuck. 
was our evening by the time I dropped Toko off. Where to next? I guess the Institute for some reason. I swung by the Kajiki Pathological Research Institute. There were quite a lot of people around, meaning they must still have been seeing patients. Not that I expect to see any familiar faces. Wait and scratch that. Stella was leaning against a corner in the waiting room. Whatever brought her here, I hope it wasn't serious. Yeah, Stella. Stella cocked her head when she saw me. Stella sniffles. <laughs> that was the only interaction. <laughs> oh, that's great. I, I went to the Institute. I happened to see Stella there. She had a cold. Anyway. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Alright, so to Shinjuku, I guess. I arrived in Shinjuku. Hopefully going back to the office would be just the medicine I needed to cool down. However, no sooner had I emerged onto the street than did I spot Ayumu amongst the crowds. Seems she noticed me as well. She prosed a shadow of gloom cast over her face. Ayama <laughs> hung her head. Everyone was. Her shoulders were trembling. I'm wiped her eyes. Yeah, I'll Briefest of moments, he could have sworn the faint hint of a smile danced across Ayama's face. <sighs> I returned home at night. Dinner for two laid wait on the living room table. <laughs> she said that there was no mistaking the lonely aura that consumed Yukari. Betraying her efforts to put on a brave face. Yukari sat down and clasped her hands together. Took my chopsticks in one hand and grabbed the bowl of rice with the other. Mm. ずりこは全然料理ができなくてよく私に頼んできたんです。他にも虫のこととか、死体に湧く渦の成長速度とか、カタツムリの動く速さとか、そういうのをよく話していました。ゆかり。ああ。いや。マスターズオーダーで<
Things were different now. This time I could act fast. Every fiber of my being wished to bring Tzedekah's soul to peace. Maybe simply possessing that desire was a sign of just how much I'd grown. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <sighs> I woke up. It was... Right. A Sunday. Perfect opportunity to go around asking people if they'd spotted Zizitika that night. Now that I knew someone had seen a figure dressed in all in black, that opened the possibility there were more witnesses out there. Yukari, I called out into the living room. My heart stirred with worry upon recalling her breakdown the night before. Yes, Hikari nodded. That's right. I smiled awkwardly at her comeback and left. First thing in the morning, Kichijoji Station was already crowded. With me was Hikari's photo of Tsuzuriko. But would I really be lucky enough to dredge up some clues on this figure in black? The only way to find out was by questioning every Tom, Dick, and Harry I came across. It was with that thought in mind that I took out the photo and wasted no time asking around. I don't think I've ever seen her before, no. Sorry, I couldn't be any help. What about asking various pedestrians and people who worked in the area? Unfortunately, my results were less than ideal. Though some re recognized Zidigo, none of them had seen her around the time of her kidnapping. Worse, no one knew about the figure in black. Seemed the witnesses had paid them no heed, whoever they were. Great, now what? Probably wouldn't have a snowball's chance in hell of identifying the figure in black without learning what they had in common with Suzidiko. I returned to the station. According to Mrs. Yosemiya, Suzidiko had left her, their home in Nishi Yogikubo shortly after 6 p.m. on the 5th. But it seems she had gone down Itsukaichi Avenue to Kichijoji first rather than straight from my place in Zimpakuji, possibly to buy something. On the way, on the way, the figure in black flagged her down, they talked for a little, and then the pair vanished together. Maybe this person offered to escort her to my place. You know, hold up, they couldn't even have struck up a conversation unless they knew each other exactly. What if they were a stranger to ask for, for directions and she got to show them the way? Get rid of that one. Okay, true. If that was the case, then are we dealing with an impulse of crime? There's also the case of potential connection with past crimes to consider, not just the stuffed egg murders, but also Kasaka's serial killings. One guess simply led to a hundred more and there were no signs of that stopping. This wasn't boding well. I had to find something. Anything. Ano? Nene? Voice snapped me out of my reverie. Chizura! Chizura Kachiki was there, looking my way. Curiosity and concern sculpted her features. あの、どこのお友達が亡くなった時に。そのあの子が悲しんでいるようでしたので。彼女の様子は少し塞ぎ込んでいるようでした。私にそのことだけを話すと。そうですか。できる限りそばにいてあげるようにしてください。でも私は
Rasta glared at me like I'd snatch the last slice of pizza one second quicker than him. Rasta turned his back to me, spewing no further vitriol. Seriously, what is his beef with me? So what now? I hadn't made any progress in my investigation. There's simply far too few witnesses to work with. But in that case, maybe I had to go about this a different way. Strength in numbers sounds like a decent tactic. It was with that thought in mind that I decided to head to Ueno. Takashiro, Iruka. I strolled into the Takashiro Detective Agency where I found Shugo reading a newspaper. Shugo showed me his newspaper. On it was an article about Suzuriko's murder. ああ。情報を集めてほしい。彼女と会っていたと思われる。ヘンシュが it was already evening by the time I returned from Ueno. Still enough time to do a little more digging, but where? Where indeed? I guess we're gonna go to Moon World. <laughs> I arrived at Moon World. However, much to my surprise, the door opened right in front of me. Gyoko was standing on the other side. トキサカ君も来ない俺もどこへ行くんだほら、そこで亡くなったよそみやさんのああ、よくわかったなだって、トキサカ君はそういうところがあるからキョクショウドミアスマボケイタンポポええ、この方が似合ってるかなと思